So as we approach spring break, many of us are planning our fun vacations, but if you have to leave the pets at home, well, you have some options and some things to think about. Kathy Brooks of the Hydrant Club is here to talk about what pet owners need to keep in mind. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. And who did you bring in? So this is Harlow. 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 I've seen you before. You've met Harlow and, of course, Truman. We, Truman. I, you don't have to get up. Oh, you don't Truman. have to get up. Oh, you're going to get up and Truman, you can go back and lay down. Truman, it's okay. You, lie down. The grown-ups are talking. <laughs> he may wander around. <laughs> uh, such, such a sweet dog. So, yeah, spring break is approaching. And, you know, unfortunately, we can't always take our pets with us. So mm -hmm. what do people need to keep in mind? So it really depends on your dog's needs. You know, in the best case scenario, if you have someone, a trusted friend or family member or even an in-home care professional who can stay in your home with your pet, that's actually going to be the best option. Your pet's probably going to be most comfortable in their home in their envir home. environment. Right. If that's not an option, there are an array of different kinds of facilities where you can leave your dogs. Some of them are larger scale facilities, you know, 150, 200 dogs a day. In those kinds of places, the dogs are going to be crated or caged or, or kenneled right. or in a suite. They might be in a fancy suite. Um, but a if nice you're, dog hotel. It might be a nice dog hotel, but your dog is still contained in a space without a human in it. Yeah. Um, there are also other solutions like people who do in-home care in their own home where they take you know, small groups of animals into their homes. Um, in cases like that, it's really the home care providers that where you really want to make sure that you uh, make sure that they have the right license to be operating the business. The, it, most municipalities require mm -hmm. that if you're taking care of animals in your home, that you actually have a handler's license, that your place is clear to be a kennel, meaning that it's housing animals overnight. Right. That's why things like uh, dog vacay or, or rover can be a little bit dangerous because you never really know what you're going to get. The person might not be a trained dog care professional. They might just be someone who loves dogs, which is great, but you want to make sure that the person in whose care you're leaving your dog actually has the understanding of how to take care of your dog if something goes wrong and that their home is safe enough for your pet. You know, the dog hotels are, are tempting uh, when you go on vacation because if you're gone for a week or two, you want to make sure that they get the best treatment possible. Sure. But there's also a cost aspect there that that can really cost you a lot of money over sure. the course of time. Sure. Well, what's the cost of leaving your dog in the care of the wrong person? Exactly. Right? So if you leave right. your dog in the care of someone who isn't a professional, who doesn't have a safe facility, uh, your dog could get injured, your dog could get out, or even worse, you could get a call that your dog has actually been killed. And if you, mm -hmm. if you do a search online for dog boarding deaths, the numbers that you will see will be quite disquieting. And some of these facilities aren't staffed overnight, mm -hmm. so they don't have someone physically in the facility during the overnight hour. So if something goes wrong, there's no one there to actually get the animals out of the facility. So do That's your happened. research. Do your research and visit the facility, take a tour, and any place that's leery of letting you see some part of the facility, you know, to me, that's always a warning sign. Right. You know, making sure they're fully transparent with how they're caring for their facility as well as how they're caring for the animals. Remind people of where you're located. So Hydrant Club is down at 9th and Fremont Streets, right in the heart of downtown Las Vegas. We have the information on your screen. Thank you for coming in Thanks again. You know, us. when you leave for a week or two, that's a long time in, in the eyes of, from the eyes of a dog. You know, long time. So you want to make sure that they're well cared for uh, and get the best treatment possible. We'll be right back with more Wake Up at the CW after this.